These cosmetic procedures are becoming so popular with teens, plastic surgeons have coined a new syndrome for it, Snapchat dysmorphia, with young patients wanting surgery so they can look more like they do in filtered selfies. So Gadi and I sat down with teens to talk about why they're taking these extreme measures. From bigger lips and smaller noses. I just wanted this dinner. To Botox and breast implants. Teens today are bombarded with images of cosmetic surgery. I think we're gonna do some lip injections today. I've always wanted them. 19 year old Ella Snyder was so proud of getting her lips done, she filmed it for her YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, I love them so much. Very good experience overall, highly recommend. Were you self conscious about your lips before? I was definitely self-conscious when I smiled, and now I can look at myself in the mirror and feel beautiful and feminine. And the number of kids getting nip tucks may astound you. In 2017, nearly 230,000 teens had cosmetic procedures. On the rise, teen lip augmentations, breast lifts, fillers, and liposuctions. That's right, kids as young as 13 are getting them. How many people here know a teenager that's gotten cosmetic surgery? To find out what's behind this, Gadi and I sat down with this group of college students, made up of interns here at NBC News and their friends. There was actually a girl on our campus. She went on Snapchat, actually, and she filmed herself getting a live liposuction. How you look is just under, like, a microscope, and it's just like you're constantly, you know, comparing yourself to these people. Do any of you guys have a problem with it? Do you think that it's you're too young? I mean, I feel like you should wait at least until maybe 21, because you're really really aren't sure what you want. I mean, what I wanted at 16 is completely different than what I wanted now. I think we live in the generation where we equate our self-worth and value with literally numerical value that's on a page. So yeah, we, we, we see who's getting likes, who's getting followers, and we assume that that's the right path. 17-year-old Ryan Jeter says he got surgery after being bullied for his big ears, starting in middle school. They really would give me nicknames about my ears. It's like, oh, there's a, uh, like, Dumbo right there. I was basically crushed. I was very depressed. At 15, Ryan had his ears surgically pinned back. He says it's changed his life, gaining him new confidence and a girlfriend. Do you think getting that surgery uh, is kind of like letting the bullies win? Not really. In the past, I didn't have the courage to stand up for myself, but after the surgery, I won't let anyone mess with me. But for every surgical success, experts warn there are nightmares too. Top plastic surgeon Dr. Andrew Orden says these are serious procedures that can cause infections and other complications, risks that teens may not consider. They may get dependent on doing these things and it may create a body dysmorphia, a, a poor image of themselves. While Ella says lip injections have boosted her views online, she doesn't want to encourage other teens to get them, admitting she's sending a mixed message. What do you say to people who say you were beautiful before? I definitely do think that I kind of fell victim to these beauty standards perpetuated by pop culture and social media. It's hard to think about the fact that I had to do this to feel this way about myself. Wow, this is so surprising, Savannah. It is, but it, you can't forget the fact that the parents have to sign off. The parents probably have to pay for it. So it really is kind of in their court, right? Absolutely. And Ella, the girl who got her yeah. lips done, her mom did not love it, but she did eventually get on board and even drove her to the appointment. But there are a lot of plastic surgeons who say that they will not do this on kids, even with parental consent. They'll talk to the parents because both emotionally and physically, they just aren't developed. What's yeah. disturbing is also not the conversation of when is the right time. Like, is it too young or do you, yeah. you should? weight is is really more about why are you equating beauty with either that numerical value that she talked yeah. about the likes and all that yeah. or just i've got two daughters what, what makes you beautiful and feel feminine has nothing to do with your physical yeah. appearance it's inside. right it's inside yeah. absolutely more of a conversation about if you should ever be wanting it never mind at what age is it appropriate yeah, yeah. all right well it's still fascinating savannah yeah, thank you so much